And in light of the tragedy in the Bronx, firefighters in Connecticut want to make sure that you heat your home safely, especially with dangerously cold temperatures expected tonight and later this week. News 12 Connecticut's Lauren Fabrizi reports from Fairfield. They had 200 firefighters on the scene very quickly. This Bronx apartment building fire being called one of the worst fires New York City has seen in modern times. Huge loss of life in the city. I'm sure that they're reeling from it today. The FDNY now saying it was a malfunctioning space heater that sparked the blaze that killed at least 19 people. The door was left open to the hallway and what that does is it allows the fire to come out of that original apartment and make its way down the hallway and the smoke spreads and the fire spreads very quickly. We don't want to see that happen in New York City or Fairfield or anywhere. So with dangerously cold temperatures headed our way. Unfortunately, people are going to be looking for alternate heating sources. The Fairfield Fire Department wants to make sure that you heat your home safely. If you have one of these electric space heaters, firefighters stress the importance of plugging it directly into an outlet, not an extension cord. Anything that can burn needs to be at least three feet away from the heater. It only takes a second. If you get a blanket that gets too close to that, and you don't realize that the blanket's going to light off on fire very quickly. When it comes to fireplaces, keep them clean. And if your furnace breaks, sometimes people will use like a stove to uh, turn the heat on just to get some warmth in there. We, we, we'd recommend you never do that. Fire is not particular. It could happen anywhere, anytime. Fairfield, Bridgeport, Stamford, you know, Stratford, any day, anytime. You never know where it is. So you, you always have to be on your guard. And Fairfield, Lauren Fabrizi, News 12 Connecticut. And we have a full list of safety tips at news12.com and on the News 12 app. Just look for the story.